All right. I'm just going to let Yvonne have the stage. Hello, everyone. My name is Yvonne Allen, and I'm Yvonne with the fun at NG Conf, and my news is real. One second, everyone. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, Captain Babyface. Okay, everybody, we have breaking news. We have good news and bad news. The bad news is our dear friend Entry Components is out of here. For those of you who don't know, Entry Components first appeared back on the scene of the Angular in Burton the Realm version two, where its main job was to help us tell Angular which components we needed created and inserted into our Angular application at runtime. I'm taking, there's more. Captain Babyface, what is the good news? I forgot. Oh, oh, the good news is the same as the bad news? Okay, got it. Okay, guys, we have good news. Entry Components is out of here. If you were one of the ones who had to deal with pop-ups in your Angle application, but instead ended up walling your own defeat as you came up with this error here, I'm pretty sure you can appreciate now what Angular has to offer with the new Angular Ivy with not having to deal with Angular components. So Angular, the Angular core team heard your cries, guys. They heard your cries, they heard your tweets, they heard your blogs and your GitHub issues. And they decided to give the entry components the boot. Now, what exactly did happen that changed and made entry components obsolete? Well, we here at NGConf News decided to go and get the inside scoop and go directly to the Angular core team to find out exactly what happens. So let's go behind the scenes and get a behind the scenes look. Okay, so prior to Angular 9, Angular generated ng factories for all components declared in the template. NG factories were, exact, were actually what was used behind the scenes during Angular runtime instead of Angular components, which if you didn't know about it, was what caused a lot of the confusion. So this was done in conjunction with component, the component factory resolver to enable things like tree shaking. Now, because of these factors, Angular could no longer, but well, could not use dynamic components at runtime because they didn't have any ng factories. Therefore, the entry components array was used to inform Angular about these, comp these dynamic components so that their factories would be available to Angular at runtime so that you can now use things like pop ups. Now, now as of Angular 9, there are no more ng factories. They're out of here. All, comp all, I'm saying, all information needed to render components are attached to static properties called comp and fact respectively so that Angular will know exactly how to render these components and you don't need entry components anymore. So in the words of our dear friend, Alex from the Angular core team who actually worked on the compiler, the reference to a component now is indeed a reference to this factory. So to wrap this all up and to bring it around, entry components are out. Angular Ivy is awesome. Components are smarter. Thank you, Jesus. And, or whoever you, you know. Um, <clears throat> and if you haven't done so already, upgrade your Angular application to Angular 9 so you can join in the fun with us. And now, I would like to give a special thanks to Alex from the Angular Core team um, for helping me out and Rob as well for helping me out and giving me this inside scoop that we would not have had had it not been for them and for ng-conf for allowing me to present today and, to bring, and for bringing this awesome, awesome, awesome virtual conference to us in spite of everything that's happening out there in the world. So stay gay, stay safe, guys. Keep your social distance and have fun. Bye. Man, I don't think I'm going to stop smiling for like a week now. <laughs> that was pretty awesome. I'm not going to lie. Look, she's got the outro scene and everything. 
That was like a legit newscast. That was that was cool. That was like slides game. She was like a level ten on slides, right? Yeah. Level ten. Wow, that was awesome. 